Hi YouTube, DS Nerve here. Um, been a while since I've made a video, but I've found a little project which I'd like to uh, have a try at. So um, yeah, I'm recording it and hopefully if everything turns out, this is going to end up on YouTube or uh, wherever it may. So basically the project I'd like to do is create um, the little Adam embryo from the Evangelion series. Um, quite a simple project. Uh, all it's going to really consist of is me uh, trying to mould um, the little Adam embryo. What I've got for that is just some plasticine. So hopefully, in amongst, in amongst all this, I'm going to be able to mix up some colours which resembles something and then mould it into the shape. Um, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do that, but that's the plan. Um, I also, I've got some epoxy for another project which might possibly end up online, that's a woodworking project. Um, and this one also requires epoxy, so if I can create a little Adam embryo, I'll be getting some epoxy together, mixing a translucent yellow, laying down um, a thin base coat, uh, which will need 24 hours to dry, place my little uh, plasticine Adam. <laughs> on top of that and then fully encase him within a, a yellow epoxy. Beyond that it's um, creating some little decals to uh, go on the block and things like this. So yeah, uh, enough talking, let's let's see what we can do. Okay guys, so after a fair bit of mixing I've come up with a colour which I'm actually kind of happy with. Um, I mean, so you place that next to my hand there, oh gosh am I not getting it on screen. Uh, yeah, place that next to my hand. I mean, it's a fairly, it's a, it's a color which I'm I'm gonna be happy with. So now I just need to uh, mix up a, a lot more of this so I have enough to uh, create the atom. And yeah, let's uh, we'll we'll take it from there. Well, after a long time messing around with the plasticine, I am fairly happy with my little Adam embryo. Um, I'm no model maker, <laughs> I realise there's defects and it's not great uh, great detail and what have you, but I'm happy with it. It's enough for the project that I want at the moment. So, what we need to do now, I've got my little container, um, I've got my ink, which I'm hoping is going to work. I've seen other people use ink in the past, and I've got my epoxy. So, we're going to mix up a little bit of epoxy. This is not to fill this up, of course, this is just to put down a little layer at the back here. Leave that for 24 hours. That will be dry enough for me to sit my Adam embryo inside. And then once that's done, we can fill up the rest of the way, encasing the embryo inside. So, two part epoxy meaning two parts A to one part B, and we're going to put a few drops of ink in. Alright, where the heck am I going to put this? Old envelope to the rescue! You will now live there for the rest of your life. Okay guys, here we go. Let's start with just a nice even pour. Hopefully I'm getting it on screen. I want to try and get that black fleck out because he definitely is going to spoil the aesthetic. But that is pretty much it. Let's have a go. Oh gosh. So that's pretty much it. Let's have a go with our little lollipop stick. Black fleck is out. Well, that wasn't too hard. Right. So set this guy up overnight. Um, 
24 hours he should be hard and then like I say we will put our Adam on top um, pour in the rest of the the stuff which I can't think, the epoxy <laughs> you can tell I'm new to this pour in the rest of the epoxy over the top of our little Adam embryo um, and then once that's all hard I can start working on the little decals and uh, things like that but yeah it's going okay so far I think okay so we have our little Adam and we're seeing what a few people are you a fan what do you reckon oh don't don't, don't try and eat him don't try and eat him you'll create angels across the planet what do you reckon are you a fan no eating no eating good good oh good enough to scratch the face okay guys I think that's a seal of approval for Adam and yeah on to the next step okay guys um, been 24 hours or just under um, got this to a state where it's still tacky which is perfect because uh, if it was completely dry and I put our little Adam in there I was worried that when pouring the second load of epoxy he might drift but if it's uh, slightly tacky that's perfect he's gonna stay in place when we put on our second coat of resin. So, um, here is the important part where we try and get Adam exactly seated how he's supposed to be. So, bear with me a second. Okay, and that is not bad. Okay, trying to do this quickly because you know you saw all this in the first pour, so no point talking over what's going on again. see if we can get a good coverage of the pore. Right, so I tried to get the angles as best I could for the new pore. So, wish me luck guys. I'm just going to start with a very slow, hoping there's no drifting from that looks good to me. Okay, once again the only thing we need to really be conscious of is bubbles. We've definitely fully covered him, which is perfect. Like I say, I was never one for expert measurements, but that looks like it's more than enough. And it appears to have a hair in it. We're going to have to get that sorted. But there we go, guys. I know it's a bit hard to see with the shine of the light. But if I, let's take it down like this, there you go, he is well and truly in there. So we'll deal with the air bubbles as they come up, um, and like I say, there is a hair in there. Don't know how that got there, but easy enough to get out, and that's going to be pretty much it. We'll have to wait, um, I'm going to say a good 48 hours, just to make sure it's 100% set, because that was quite a fair bit of uh, resin. And then we'll pop him from his cast and I can get starting to work on the little labels and uh, decals and things like that. Not 100% sure how I'm going to do that yet, but we'll see. Hi guys, uh, well unfortunately I just lost the footage of me uh, cutting it out of the packaging. Um, um, there was a car crash outside uh, the window and there were car horns beeping and things like that so I just can't use the footage. But the packaging has been cut off. Um, this is what we have been left with, which I am very happy with. Um, obviously, this one has got the butter dish uh, shape at the back here, which is not ideal, but 
you know, it's for my own little private collection, as long as you can uh, tell that it's meant to be the Adam embryo, um, that's fine by me. Um, so yeah, now it's time to clean up the edges just slightly. I'll just do that with a little craft knife. Um, put on some little decals. Not 100% sure exactly how I'm going to do that yet. Um, toying around with maybe even cutting out a stencil and spray painting. Uh, normally you would have like a little, um, it's almost like a radioactive sign at the top corner here and uh, something saying caution and then a few other words which I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but yeah. On to the next step. Okay guys, back again. Um, so what I've decided to do, and um, this is as far as I'm going to take it on this video, I found some companies which can make up some decals, um, so I'm going to get in contact with them, and put them on here, probably do an update video. Uh, as you can see, I've got the little biohazard sign and the date and everything already printed on him, um, but we do need uh, little decals. This one over here will say sample, a01 Adam and then a little caution uh, in this corner uh, but for right now I feel happy to add him to my collection so I'll give you a closer look at him we'll add him to my collection and yeah a little thank you and goodbye so here we go the translucent epoxy worked out very well I believe um, it looks great when you shine a light from behind him and you kind of get the little embryo silhouetted um, but yeah, I'm I'm quite happy. Like I say, I know it's not a a perfect copy by any means, but uh, certainly happy to add him to my collection. He's going to live here with some of my collectibles. I do have lots of uh, anime collectibles. Um, for example, that's all anime DVDs. We have some model kits which haven't been made. Uh, things like that. A little non-anime here, like space or not space flight helmets and things like that but he's gonna live with the anime so I think we're gonna put him by the Laputa robot head up there so that's how he's gonna look like I say he'll have this decal slapped on him but for now I think he looks pretty pretty okay up there maybe I'll jig him around and get him actually inside just to protect him from the dust so yeah um, thank you very much for coming along. I'm sorry that I made it such a long video. I didn't intend it to work out that way, but yeah, I kind of talk too much, so that's my own fault. Um, maybe I'll come up with some more projects in the future, put them online, but um, for now, thank you for joining me in making my little Adam embryo, and I hope you had fun watching along. So, uh, see you later guys. Have a nice day. Bye. Congratulations!